What's up guys, it's me Jimmy Eggy. So I cut my finger but I need to take a shower. I mean yesterday I cut my finger I need to pay like 50 US dollar for stitching which is freaking expensive but the doctor told me I should not take shower but I'm going to take a shower so I put a plastic bag I mean I put a plastic bag first if you don't know I'm a Muslim I need to pray five times a day so cleanliness hygiene is very important for me even I mean I don't know I take a shower two times a day I mean it doesn't really matter whoever you are I mean I can't get my work done so so for example if you cut your hand I mean the wound is a little bit deep so the doctor did some stitches and then now I put a plastic bag now I'm going to use a washing glove I mean dishwashing glove even I think in like last year also I cut my finger but that was nothing I mean this time is quite serious I mean so it can become infected I mean I really don't want to lose my finger so I put a plastic bag with some tape and then I'm going to put this glove and then I'm going to take a shower let me tell you how, how that trick is okay okay like this Okay, like this. Okay, here it is. And then now I'm going to find some rubber. I don't know where is any rubber band. I can't find any rubber band. Finally, I found some rubber band before applying that. I will be telling you. So I bought this alcohol, some tape, some dressing. I mean the doctor asked me to come like three times more so I need to pay 50 US dollar I mean money is nothing I mean not a big deal so 150 dollar for dressing which is freaking expensive in, in Hong Kong I just need to pay like five or ten bucks I mean five dollar at most just for a dressing in Korea I need to pay 50 five zero US dollar I mean I have done my first aid course so I'm already trained first aid so I think it's a waste of money 150 dollar for dressing I can do it by myself I'm going to Hong Kong on 17 November. I will be, I mean, the next day I will go to hospital and it, um, do a checkup there for free. I mean, I think so. But if you have some serious problem, do not think about money. Always go to a doctor, which I did. My wife was saying to me, please, please go to a doctor. I said, I can do it by myself. My wife was right. I need some stitches. So now I need to take a shower. So I finally found some rubber band. Okay, now the rubber band falling down. So. Here we go. Uh, let me put. Okay, like this. Okay, like this. And um, can you can you see? A little bit lower. Like this. One more. I think I need to do like this much better. Safer. Okay. This one is a little bit big. Okay, I think I need to apply. I think the water can go inside. I need to put down the gloves. Like this is okay. Because the glove is a little bit big, the water can go inside. I will put in some tape at the end. Like this. Okay. Let's make it tight. Okay, let's go. Okay. Yeah, that is awesome. And then another rubber I'll put in here. Yeah, I'm using a lot of rubber, I just don't want the water to get inside, which can be the problem. So now I'm going to put some black tape. So now I need to use this duct tape. This is like the drainage pipe tape this will this is also waterproof okay 
I'm just going to put like this. Anyway, it's a cool this one because this one is not opening. I mean, yeah. So now I'm going to take a shower with my hand up. So that is how you take a prepare yourself for the shower if you have a cut. Subscribe. So after taking a shower, so you can see finally my idea. I mean, my hair work. My finger did not become wet, and now at least I'm feeling fresh. So this is how you can take a shower. I did not take a shower, I take a warm water bath, feeling much better, much active because there's a lot of work I need to get done. So I'm going to offer the prayer and then going to start my work. So let me know in the comment section box below, did you ever cut your hand or finger or whatever? And then how did you talk the shower? I really wanna hear from you because I'm a geek. This is how geek. Do the hack I mean to be honest with you I'm a very very realistic person nothing is scripted everything is I mean whatever I like whatever come in my mouth I speak in front of the camera so yeah bye subscribe